follow my socials. Hi, beautiful people. October 26th. Of course I'm reading. It's a fucking long title. Isekais with Mary Sue's, which is not comedic, and fan service. The Chaos Emerald is going to give me the power of light spoilers. Really pretty design. Even if they aren't really detailed, the color choices are really good, they are really pretty, especially on the waifus. I didn't really see production problems, but yes, there's a couple of parts where it looks like there wasn't a budget. And the waifu's design is so obviously for that, that I can take a character from a hentai and you couldn't tell the difference. And the positives I can give the story is that they try to be a little more realistic. Not in the character department, because they are all Mary Sue's and Mary Stu's. Neither in the characterizations, nor in the situations. No, the only thing that's a bit more realistic is the pacing. They are not just declared the best in that other world as soon as they get there. But then again, spoilers. And the fanserve part is blatant and with details you might expect on a hentai. No hentai situation is actually shown, but yes, little details that you might expect on an actual hentai. It's that forced. And if you expect anything other than potential waifus, I'm sorry. That being said, two there could be really good waifus, but let the rocks roll. Look, when I said the pacing was a positive, I was kind of lying because it wasn't for me. On one hand, the slower pace can be helpful. When I start to introduce the Buma and the village, you can actually get into it. When they were presenting the seven, on the other hand, was awful. They got to the fourth one, I was already counting because I was so bored. The first, the smart inventor who has her own AI, it was kind of interesting and I thought, hey, maybe they know what they are doing. But the other six are just stupid. And only the samurai and the magician, I can actually say, yeah, maybe it's going to be the fun kind of stupid, but it won't be. So what's the story? Japan has seven of the brightest people in the world in their own areas, even though they haven't even finished high school. Those seven were in the same jet, there was an accident and they wake up in another world. And even before they are actual characters, we have a big-breasted elf and another one who has, I assume, dog ears? And here's where I have to stop and show how bad the characterization actually is. The one who gets the best characterization in these episodes? is the elf. Supposedly both of them help the seven, but she's the one who is there seeing if they are okay. And when one of them wakes up, she brings some stew for him to eat. And when he doesn't have the strength to eat the meat on the spoon, she chews it and feeds it with her mouth. Com os detalhes de hentai, mostrando que a língua dela está entrando e saindo fio de saliva entre as duas. So yeah, the best characterization in this episode is This girl would be a nice waifu for you. The second best characterized one is the world's best politician. Because he's the first minister of Japan? I mean, it's impressive, especially for a student to get that position. I don't think that's actually legal, but what about the other rulers in the world? The idea is that he would be good at making plans, but they don't show him making any plan. And if I start talking about the magician, we're going to be here all day. The idea the anime has of magic is not he is going to make the Statue of Liberty disappear, which was a big trick and was very impressive when it was done. No, he can actually make his head float around a person. Those colored smokes when he shows up were supposed to be an indication that this is a trick, but that's not a trick. For you to make this happen, you have to have some kind of drone in the shape of your head to actually do this, but you have to also replace the drone for the head. And how do you do that without people seeing? And you also need to have much more advanced technology to actually do this, so no, this is not magic. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, if you're not looking for a waifu, this is not going to be good for you. But that's it. What did you think of this anime? Leave it on the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And if you enjoyed it, please like, share with your friends, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. Jojin kokusei tachi wa isekai demo. 超人国政たちは異世界でも
、余裕で生き抜くようです。超人国生たちは異世界でも余裕、余裕生き抜くです。余裕で、余裕で生き抜くようです。余裕、余裕で生き抜くのです。生き抜くようです。